Okay, everybody, today I come before you not as a scientist, but as a magician of physics. I'm actually really nervous. This is not acting. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, <laughs> my wife's gonna be so mad if this doesn't work. Okay, today I'm going to be showing you how to win a bet with your friends. So to do this bet, you need three things. You need a pencil, something heavy like some keys, and something light like a matchbox here. And then you need to tie them together. So go ahead and ask your friends if they know how pulleys work. So I'm gonna use this pencil as a pulley with the string here. So if you have the matchbox and the keys here, and I let go of the matchbox, which do you think will hit the ground, the keys or the matchbox? If they're wrong, they have to give you $20. So anybody wanna take me up on this bet? So I'm just gonna hold this pencil out here, and I'm gonna let go of the matchbox, and if the keys do not hit the ground, then you owe me $20. So now when you do this, show them there's no tricks going on here. This is literally just keys, a matchbox, and a string, and a pencil. So you're just gonna place it over the pencil like this. Now how much do you wanna bet that when I let go of this matchbox, the keys are gonna fall to the floor? If I let go of the matchbox, they're gonna fall? What do you think? Okay, let's do it. Three, two, one. Huh, the keys didn't hit the ground. Okay, maybe that was just a fluke. Let's try best of five. Okay, let's try it again. Three, two, one. Huh, it seems to have happened again. They seem to be perfectly balanced here. The keys aren't falling. Okay, that had to have been a fluke. Let's just try it one more time to be sure. Three, two, one. Huh. Look at that. Look at that, the matchbox and keys, the keys don't fall to the ground, no matter what I do. Okay, I will collect my $20. Okay, how about we up the stakes a little bit? How about I use this crystal vase versus a matchbox on the pulley and let it drop and see if it hits the ground or not. Now this one I'm nervous about, but I believe that physics works. Now I switched the string out with fishing line to make sure the string itself is strong enough I'm actually really nervous. This is not acting. <laughs> oh man. Okay. <laughs> My wife's gonna be so mad if this doesn't work. Three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> it worked. <laughs> Holy cow. So you can see the matchbox dangling and our glass vase dangling. <laughs> so believe it or not, this trick was first invented not by a physicist, but by a magician and it was published in 1926 in a magician's journal called Linking Rings. But recently physicists got interested in this trick and they described how it works. So here's what's actually going on. Here's how every single time the lighter thing stops the heavier thing from falling and hitting the ground. So how this is working is as the heavier thing falls, it pulls the matchbox toward it. And as the matchbox is moving towards it, gravity is pulling it down so it ducks below the pencil. So its momentum is moving at downward diagonal. But then when it gets past the pencil, the string catches on it, and now it gets yanked back up. And now it starts a circular motion and gets sent back the other way. And then it swings around and around and around. But every time it swings, it wraps around the pencil once. And the frictional force on the pencil and the string increases exponentially with every turn that it goes around the pencil. And also it speeds up faster and faster with every turn because the string gets shorter and to conserve angular momentum, it has to speed up. So the matchbox goes faster and faster and faster. And so it very quickly increases the friction so much that no matter how fast this is dropping, this catches and winds with enough friction to stop it. So this physics experiment is pretty stable with all sorts of different ratios and weights that you can use. According to an American Journal of Physics paper, it's stable over a range of mass ratios from 10 to 200. So basically almost anything that you use on either end of the string will work well, as long as your string is strong enough and as long as you can hold the pencil up. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you liked it, I hope you learned something. If you haven't subscribed yet, consider hitting the subscribe button. 
And head over to theactionlab.com to check out the new Action Lab subscription box where you get experiments similar to the experiments that I do on my channel. The very first box is a vacuum chamber box, so you get your very own vacuum chamber. It's pretty cool. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.